Hi, it's Mary. Welcome to the Paper Turtle. We're doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I'm not sitting at my table. There's my table, my empty chair. What I'm going to be doing today is a little bit of organizing and cleaning. And I'm going to bring you along for the ride, if you dare. <laughs> it's um, always an adventure to do this. Um, I'll explain a little bit what I'm doing as I go along, but basically, see this cute shelf right here? I bought that yesterday at a thrift store. I absolutely loved it. And um, I pondered getting it because, well, you see my room. Where am I going to put it? That was my big thing. So, after some guy lurking over me, wanting to grab it up, I decided to take it and um, I took it and there's one place in my room that I can put it and that is, turn around here, on this shelf right here. It's a lower shelf. However, in order to do that, of course, I have to clean this off. It will fit right here, right in this, this space here where I have these two baskets. So that has to go so that I can put that shelf on here. And when you're organizing, at least when I'm organizing, for me, because my room is so full, it's, it's a domino effect. I start organizing one thing, it leads to the next, to the next, to the next. So the big question would be, what am I gonna do with this stuff? So my next idea is, a little lower down on the shelf, if we can see it, here, let me move this cart. <clears throat> I have this right here. These drawers, back a little bit, which you can see is broken. The drawers don't slide in and out very well, and it certainly doesn't look very good. What I have in those drawers, um, gel pens and markers that I haven't used in God knows how long. They're probably all dried up. Those I will go through, find a new home for. Decorative scissors, which I probably have duplicates. I don't use a lot of them, but I do use them. So I will keep them, and I think that those are going to go in one of the little um, little cloth drawers down there. But I have to go through them and take out any duplicates or things that I know I won't use. Bottom drawer, which I cannot open right now, isn't that sad, <laughs> has um, some old eyelet setting tools in it. Those I can find a new home for. So my thought process is I get rid of that and this basket will fit in there, I think. So that means I just have to get rid of whatever is in this basket. And I just it's just a matter of sorting it through and finding a new home for it. So I think I can do that. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, I'm going to be going in and out of the video as I do things. So the first order of business is I'm going to move this cart out into the other room just to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to start, I guess I'll clear this off first so that I can put the shelf up there. And I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so I moved the cart out of the way. And I'm just going to kind of clear off. I'm not used to doing oops, videos with one hand <laughs> and working with one hand. Um, but I just want to show you a little bit of what I'm doing. So I'm clearing off this space and all these little things that accumulate. Um, this is, this is a good thing that I am doing all this because I get to clear out all of these little, little things that, that I don't even know. I don't, what is this? I don't even know what some of this stuff is. And right now I'm just setting it on my table and I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, this one, 
I know I'm going to put down there, so I'm just going to set it on the floor for now. And when you're doing this, it's always good to, you know, clean as you go. Because <laughs> really, it's the only chance that I have of cleaning. Um, because if I were to do like a big clean in here, there's an awful lot of stuff that would have to be moved around. And who's got time for that kind of stuff? <laughs> Not me. So, this is nice and clean now. Well, that didn't take too long. Look at how dirty that was. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. There we go. Clean spot, right? All right. I hope I'm not making you dizzy with me moving around. <clears throat> Look at that. That fits just... What do you think? Just perfect, right? See my my Raggedy Andy switch holder? <laughs> I got to throw Raggedy Ann stuff in here. All right. I think that's perfect. And this basket still goes... It actually goes better. I like it there. All right. Now, one of the things that I took off of the shelf, I'm going to put in here, and that's going to be these alphabet stamps. Um, these are very nice. Let me show you these. Aren't those nice? They look all retro -y and stuff. I don't think that they're that old. And then these are ones that came from like Joann's or Michael's or something at some point in time. So it'd be nice to have this out and showing, but actually maybe I will. <laughs> you have to kind of wiggle them around to get the thing. Oh, come on. Don't make me shut off the camera. There we are. It would look kind of nice up there, maybe, huh? I'll put it there for now, and we'll see. And I'm going to put these in here for now. Um, that may change. I don't know. So then, um, the next thing is going to be... I'm going to put the scissors in there, but I have to go through them. So what I'm going to do... Is bring them over here to my table but that means I have to move this for a second this is too full this really needs to be cleaned out and I'm gonna put at that on the floor I have way too much stuff on the floor clear off my a space here to work <clears throat> project I was working on I'll put on my light my new light. Isn't it wonderful? I love it. And get the drawer. Now, I don't know. Do you really want to see me go through all this? I don't know. Um, well, I'll put you in here. Put you in the holder. If I can do it without shutting it off. We'll see. Oh, look at that. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is grab a piece of paper and I might have to cut some of these to see uh, what they are. So I have, these are zigzags. So I'm going to put the zigzags together and then decide which ones I need to keep. That's a zigzag. Do I need the holder for these scissors? I don't think so. I don't really need that. Let's get rid of that. I'm taking up space. All right, um, this one is a wavy scallop kind of one. This is a scallop. Actually, that's not a scallop, is it? It's more wavy. I don't know how I'm gonna, if I'm going to categorize these very well. This is a scallop. I use my scallops. This is kind of a wavy, more like that than a scallop. It's kind of a cross between the two, isn't it? This is a square scallop. Here's a wavy. A little bigger than that one. 
Now this is more, um, this is fancier. What the heck am I going to do with these? I don't know. I know you're all thinking, just get rid of them, Mary. Get rid of them. But I, I don't want to get rid of them. I use them. This is more of a square scallop, kind of. It's um, almost closer to the stamp thing. And so this is like really an erratic one. It's just kind of crazy. So we'll put that there. This is like grass. This is wavy. This is scallop. Here's a, another square scallop. This is a um, a more decorative scallop. Oh my gosh. See, they're all different. They're all different. I don't think I've seen two the same yet. This is a more decorative scallop. And this one. This. Look at this one. I think, you know what, I think I went through these um, when I moved. That's, that's a zigzag. This is a square, like this one, only smaller, of course. I do think I went through these when I moved, and I got rid of all the duplicates then. That's why I don't have any duplicates. Yep, I did. Um... So, what am I going to do? I don't think these will all fit in the, in the one thing. Let me see. <clears throat> no, they're not going to all fit in here. And if they do, I wouldn't be able to go through them and find the ones that I want. So... You see, I have a dilemma because I don't, I don't want, I don't want to get rid of any of them because they're all different. This one's very similar to this one. Let's see how different they are. One doesn't cut real well. All right, they're different sizes. You know, this does, didn't cut very well, but it could be the paper. Let me get a, a different piece of paper. I'm trying to find one that's a little stiffer. Was it this one? Oh, see that cut better. That was, that's bad paper. Um, so that means I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to throw anything away. They're all, <laughs> they're all different, aren't they? I don't see any two that are the same. Even these, they're different. They're different sizes. This is different than that. These two might be the same. Let's let's check these two. Okay. Those two are very very similar. So These are Creative Memories. They're probably better brand. So I'll keep those I will get rid of this one. I did it. I got rid of one. <laughs> All right. Then this one and this one look very similar. No, one's smaller than the other. What about this one? That might be the same as this. Let's check. Are you bored yet? <laughs> this is what I do, and this is why I get sidetracked. Oh, they're like almost exactly the same. So let's let me get rid of one of these. We got a Provocraft and a Greekus Berolito. I have no idea. 
I'll keep the Provocraft one because I think that's probably a better brand. And get rid of that. All right. Did it. I did it. All right. This is a decorative. I thought I saw another one like this. Is this wavy? That looks pretty similar. Let's see. Now, one thing I will say, I have not bought um, decorative scissors in a long time. I'd say they're pretty similar. They're, this one's a little bit smaller than this one. Yeah, I don't know. This one, I thought I saw another one like this. No? That one is similar, but different. See, they're both made by Provocraft, so they're probably different. Very slightly. All right, well then, then the next dilemma is how many are gonna fit in here? Let's just... Let's just see. Well, maybe I can fit them all in. If I could fit them all in here, that would be awesome. What if I stood them up a little bit? No, I don't know. I know, you're all screaming at me. Get rid of them, get rid of them. I use them. I really do use them. And yeah, I use like all of them. But yay, they fit. Now, my problem will be when I want to find one, I'll have to dig through this whole thing. But that's okay. I don't use them that often that I can't dig through it. So we did that. All right. Um, I'm going to pause you for just a second. Okay, so I'm not going to make you go through all of the pens with me, but just to show you, like, this is what's in here, and most of this will end up getting thrown away, I'm sure. This is metallic, some kind of marker. Yeah, see how dried up that is? Well, that one works. I can use that one. And so I'm going to have to do that for everything in here. And I'll do that, but I won't. And that works. I won't do it on, um, on camera because that's, that's probably going to be pretty boring. So I'm going to pause you again while I go through these. This is mini stampers. I'll pause you in a second. I just wanted to show you what I have. These, I don't, I don't know how long I've had all of this stuff. So this is snowflakes, and you're supposed to go like this. That works. Oh, my goodness. That one not. Yeah, it works. You know, leave it to Crayola. Crayola I, is a great product. I really have to. I have to say, Crayola is a wonderful product. So these work. So these are keepers. I have to remember to use them. And then I have all these gel pens, which probably don't work. Um, but I'll go through them. You know, I think there was like a little miniature Raggedy Ann and Andy in here or something. <laughs> I don't know. But that's a cute little thing for little little doodads to figure out what I can use that for. Um, what is this one? Praying Metallic Marker. Yeah, see? And I just wouldn't use it. 
so that one's going. Where's the other one I threw away? Did I throw it in the trash? Where did he put it? I don't know. Here's a gold one. I must have been on a metallic marker kick at one point. Um, it kind of works. No, it doesn't really. I have that gold one. This will get thrown away too. All right, that's it. Oh wait, here's a green one. Nope. They're just just not enough juice in them. And since they've been sitting here for so long, I'm not even going to bother with them. That works, so I'll keep that one. Um, okay, I'll be back in a few minutes after I play with the markers. Okay, so I'm not really sure why I sat here wasting my time because <laughs> none of these work. I have thrown away this entire drawer. I really hate gel pens and I will not buy gel pens anymore. Okay. Every single one of those is in the trash except one pink one. And nope. That one either. Okay. Takes care of the gel pens. Now, just a little little tip. If you want colored pens, <clears throat> I love, I've got two brands here that I really like. I am not this is not sponsored or anything. This is just what I like. These are pen and gear, which I believe is sold at Walmart. They are, um, they're really nice. They, they write nice. They feel nice in your hand because they've got this soft grip thing. And they come in a bunch of colors. So I've got like these blues. I've got pink, purple, green, turquoise, brown, orange, a bunch of colors. Nice pens. So... And of course, black and blue. <clears throat> so if you're looking for some colored pens, try the Pen and Gear pens. Also, this Pilot G2. Um, I think I actually got these at the Dollar Tree. And they come in a bunch of colors also. I have some others somewhere. I don't, I think they're over there. Um, this is a, this is not a Pilot. <laughs> This is a Zebra Z-Grip, which I think also I got at Dollar Tree. And that comes in a bunch of different colors, too. Uh, here's a different brand. R2 Blast. Rollerball. I might have got that at Dollar Tree. Check Dollar Tree. They have a lot of pens, especially like at um, the beginning of school time. There's another... I was just using this, another Pilot pen. Um, they have good pens and they have a lot of colors. So that's just my take um, to get ink pens instead of gel pens. They don't, they don't last. Okay, so <clears throat> that takes care of the pens. And I'm just going to show you what was in the bottom drawer. This is the bottom drawer. <clears throat> I don't know why these things are in this drawer. It doesn't make any sense. This, if you have not ever seen this, this is called a silent setter. This is for setting eyelets. This is what we used before the crocodile came along. It works pretty good, but... Oh, I even have eyelets in here. <laughs> You can see I didn't use it all that often. And basically all you do, this is a little cutting mat, a little, uh, yeah, like a cutting mat that you, you do it on. And then these you put in here and these are to make the hole. So you just take your paper and you push this down like this. It takes a little bit of muscle work, but not a lot. And that makes the hole and there's different sizes. 
and then you take an eyelet and I think that um, this worked best with Provocraft eyelets obviously but uh, any eyelets would work. You put your eyelet in the hole and turn it over and then you take the proper uh, setter for whichever eyelet you have. I think this is the right one for that. Put that in your thing and you put there's a little little raised dot on there and you put that in the center of the eyelet and in theory you do this and you got to use your muscles push it down and it's supposed to set the eyelet like that now it works but yes the crocodile is <laughs> much easier but I just wanted to show you that because if you do ever run across one of these somewhere if you don't have a crocodile, you run across one of these in a thrift store or something, and it's cheap, go ahead and pick it up, because it does work, and it is an alternative to the crocodile. Um, I never use this, because I have a crocodile, and I have um, the hammer method that I also use. So, I really should use to get rid of this. Right? And I could probably sell this. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I'll put this in my yard sale and sell it. Because I've also got eyelets with it. So it's all there. And you can tell it has hardly been used. So I think maybe I'll do that. That's going to go into yard sale stuff. With those scissors. All right. <clears throat> Book rings. Why are they in here? These need to go over with my hardware stuff. Um, I didn't even know they were in here. I'm not going to use them if I don't see them. A cutting board. I bought this because somebody recommended it to use as a craft board. Oh no, I didn't buy it. <laughs> This was a freebie from my where I worked. <laughs> um, but also these little things that you can get at Dollar Tree. That's where I thought I got it. Um, are supposed to be good for a l good little craft mat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, this needs to go with my with my other cutting mats. I don't know why it's in here. Oh, I have two of them. All right, those go over in another place with my cutting mat. I have more rings that don't need to be in here because I have a place for hardware. I have, this is another um, eyelet tool. So is this, and why? Why they're in here, I don't know. These are for um, the ham to use the ha with the hammer, and I have the ones that I do have and use over there, so I'm going to put these with those. These are some kind of little rubber tips for something. I don't know what, but I know if I get rid of them, I'll be looking for them. <laughs> so I have a place where I throw unknown stuff like this so that'll go there this oh this goes with the so easy thing where's the other the rest of this hold on let me show you what this is, this is kind of... okay so this is how this looks so far I got the the shelf up there I have this these are the, the stamps I just set them there for now I'm not sure I'm not sure that they're not gonna, probably not going to stay there. Um, I have this wooden, this cute little wooden box. It's got a like a peaches. Uh, it was for cassette tapes. Picked that up at an estate sale one time because I thought it was kind of cool looking. I thought maybe I'd put that up there and maybe put some of the I don't know journaling cards or stickers or something in it. I'm not sure. That's an experiment. But down here is where I put this basket that I had on the top. I don't 
love it there. I don't think it's going to stay there um, because in order for me to, to get something out of it, I have to pull the whole thing out and flip through it. And I don't really like that. Where it was sitting up on the top, I could just flip through it. You know, it was easy access. So I'm not sure about that. I may replace that with some kind of a, a different kind of basket or something. I'm not, I don't know. But what I'm working on now is this that came off the top. I'm going to sort through this and see if I can figure out a better place to put this. What I might have to do, because these are, these are stickers. These are like journaling cards and stuff. And I have another place I can put those. And then these are small little, you can't see, small little stickers and things. And what I have that I didn't show you, my trash bag, um, I have these baskets over here. These are full of stickers. So I'm thinking I can incorporate some of those in those baskets. They're pretty full, so I'm not sure if I can. I do, however, oh, sorry about all the dizziness. I do, however, have one at the bottom here that's not full. Those were always my put away stickers. Um, and by that, I mean, I have another place where I keep stickers <laughs> that those would go. Oh, so I don't know. I, I, it's, oh, it's all such a dilemma. So now I'm going to put you back in the holder here and let you go through some of these with me just to, I don't know, just for the fun of it, just to see what I've got here and see if we can, I can figure out a way to sort them. So I know I have these like planner stickers in these big, tall, these things. I have a bunch of these. I used to find these at the uh, thrift stores really, really cheap. So I picked a bunch of them up when I saw them. I haven't seen any in a while. Um, this is a package of the same thing. I know it seems like I've got duplicates, but they're really, I think I only have one duplicate actually. These are all like sticker books. And then I have this, this is kind of cute. It's got like faux stamps in it. Are those cute? Um, this one's cute. This is little dolls, images and journal notes. That's got some cute stuff in it. <clears throat> okay, so that's one pile of something. Then I have, oh, these are stickers also. Well, they're all, most of them are stickers, but that's a tall one. These are envelopes. Now I do have another a place over here where I have some other envelopes. So that's gonna go over there. That's a good thing to clear out. And then I have like these single sheets of stickers and rub-ons. These are the things that I'll try to incorporate in those other baskets. Isn't that pretty? It's just a transparencies. They're so pretty. I wanna use those. Uh, let's see, these go in there. And then I have, uh, I don't know, let's see, these are just stickers. This is like a big journaling card thing. So these journaling cards and stuff, see like this is a cut apart. Very pretty, but a whole different category, you know. Those are stickers. Stickers. 
All right, here's another booklet of, they're not stickers, they're, they're uh, just paper, but they've got some really cool images in there. I use this one a lot. And I'll put those with these. Rub-ons. <clears throat> I don't know how some of these ended up in this basket because really all my stickers usually go over there. Now this is like a, I have another place for that. <laughs> that came from a cut apart sheet. It was probably the last thing on the sheet, so I stuck it in here. Words, I'm gonna put the words over here in my words basket. See, these are all journaling cards. At one point in time, I put them all in this thing because I thought that I would use them if they were out here where I could see them, but that doesn't seem to be working real well. Um, I think I'm gonna put those labels. Now I have a label folder. These will go in the label folder. These aren't stickers, but they're like cut apart things, but I'm going to put them with the stickers. And these, where's the other ones? Oh, up there, okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. This is all stuff from my scrapbooking. Oh, see, I don't know what to do with some of this stuff. I, put, I meant to use it. <laughs> of course I meant to use it. We all meant to use all of it. Labels. Oh, but they're not blank labels. Words. Like these <clears throat> words. What the heck are these? Lemons? Yes, please. Love. Real something. Real life. Um, hmm. Okay. See, a lot of miscellaneous stuff ended up in this basket. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do, you guys? I don't even know. I don't know where to put some of this stuff. Words. I know you're saying get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it because <clears throat> I use it and I will use it eventually. <sighs> These can go over with my die cuts. What is this? Oh my. Okay. These these I picked up at uh, an expo one time because they were cool and at the time I think we used them <clears throat> on a page or something. These are actually sticky back. I'm pretty sure. And the concept was to use like inks and dyes and stuff on them because they take it. So I had bought that one and I bought this frame. 
And there they sat, never to be used. Oh, here's another frame. So one side peels off, I believe, and is sticky. So you can stick it to your page. And then the other side you can dye or use inks on. I'm pretty sure it's sticky back. Maybe not. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why I have doilies in here because I have another home for doilies. These are like little like vocabulary card type of things. I'm going to put these in a smaller bag. They don't need to be in this great big huge bag. I think I have a smaller one that they'll fit in. These are real tiny. <clears throat> so you see, this is why I can't get into these projects because I have to go through everything and it takes me forever. I get distracted. Um, it's just, it's bad. Oh, another doily. Label stickers. Are they all labels? But it's good to do this once in a while. Go through that basket or bin or whatever that you have that you haven't looked at in forever and see what's in there. Because you if you'll find things that you want to use you'll find things that you can probably get rid of and um it just helps reacquaint you with some of your supplies that uh you may not have laid eyes on in a long time i saw another one of these in here somewhere i'll just put it there so these like journal card things, like I said, I have another home for those. I have another home for this type of thing over there. Whoop. <clears throat> journal cards, tickets. I even have a place for tickets over there. Words. <clears throat> now I don't mind this little container but I don't think that it's going to really go with um, that new thing I have over there these are like little bookmarks I don't know where I got those very Florida um, these are little cards. Uh, so I have this little container. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Oh my goodness, all these little things. What am I going to do with these? <laughs> I'm trying to dig them out right here. Look at all these. Now some of these I do have another home for. I can put them over in my uh, I have a basket over there with like die cuts and stuff in it. So some of these can go there. This can go right over here with my pockets and things. These all can go in my basket of journal cards so some of these I can I do have a place for but I'm gonna have to go through them a little bit more um, intently to divide them all up and decide where they're gonna go see like some of these if I if I knew I had them I'd be using them cute 
um, oh my, look at all these little stickers. Where in the world did these come from? Marjolaine Bastin. Wow. Oh, I bet they came with some stationery that I got. I bet they did. Yeah, I've got to go through all of this stuff and decide what I'm going to do with it. Tags. Look at all the tags. I need a little container for tags, I think. When I divide all these up and sort through them, that will better tell me um, like what I need. Like I need a little thing for tags or another basket for stickers or you know whatever the situation is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to sort through these and um, I'm gonna put you on pause again and I will let you see when I've gone through them because I think you're probably pretty bored by now. <laughs> And I will be back in a few. Okay, I am back. And I'm not sure exactly where I left off. <laughs> it is several days later. Um, I got distracted. And then my husband and I went away for a few days for our anniversary. And now I'm back. And I came back into my room. And my space here was covered with all of the things that were in that pink container. Well, I've sorted through all of those and I have put things away. Some things went other places. Some things I've come up with a, another little storage system and I'll show you that in a minute. But before I do, I need to put these things away. These are things that were in that basket that go into my ephemera holders. And I'm going to show you, so I'll show you these. And then these are some little sayings, quotes, and things. And I have a separate place over there that these go. So I'll put those away in a minute. But I want to sort through these. And what I've got here is a variety of um, different things. Christmas needs to go in a Christmas box. That doesn't go here. And I'm kind of sorting through um that's going to be separate like vintage type things and versus more modern colors i'm not sure where i want to put those yet those might go back over in the other basket so these things here i consider brighter modern colors and they get separated from what I consider the more vintage -y type stuff. And then I've got things like these tickets and things. I think I'll put that with that. So right now I'm just kind of sorting through these and then I'll figure out, I'll show you where I'm going to put them. Okay, so <clears throat> I made these ephemera holder things. I intended to decorate the covers and make them really pretty and cute, but I haven't done that. And it's probably good that I haven't because they get kind of, they get put in and out of the basket that I keep them in. And I think the covers would get roughed up a bit. So I'm just leaving them for now. I made them out of file folders. And basically I just kind of made like this little... I don't know, folio type of thing. Um, I stapled one piece into the other to make pages and then this one just folds out. And if I need more pages, I can easily staple more pages in. And I made three different sizes, one for small things, a medium one, and then I have a larger one over there, which I didn't think I needed to right here today, so I didn't bring it over. So like in here, you can see it's got little tiny things in it. So I'm going to put like this in here somewhere. Um, I tried to have it a little bit organized, but it's not really. <laughs> so that's going in here. And I think everything else it will go in the medium sized one. Yeah, I don't have anything else that's small. So that's the, the small one. And then this is the medium one. 
and this I think I'm going to put somewhere else. I have a, a envelope for people, and I'm going to put her in with the people. But like all of these kind of things, these all can go in here. Um, here's one where I've got some round things. Yeah, I'll put that in here with these round things and move this because that's not round. So I'll just put that in there. I have a couple of frames here. Actually, I'm going to put those. I had some other frames. I'm going to pull these out and I'm going to put these with the other frames. So those aren't going in here. There's another round one. And then these die cuts. These need to go with my flowers. These I have another place for. So I'm going to put those somewhere else. Same with that. And this can go in here. Right there. So that's those. This is one of these little photo album things. And this is where I put what I consider my more modern things, the bright colors. And I kind of, I don't know, I've tried to separate them a little bit by color or category or something. So what do I have here? I have a camera, some glasses, feathers, let's see. There's the flowers. Oh, there's, let me put those in here. All right, so I'm just gonna put these in here like this. These are more things I would use more in scrapbooking than in here. Um, feathers. But <clears throat> I have to have a place to keep them and a place where I will go to look for them and find them when I'm looking for that particular thing, you know. Balloons. Um, let's see house. Didn't I have buildings in here? Yeah, there's a building. I think I had some other buildings that I've used. And since I have clouds in there, I'll stick these in with the clouds. Oh, uh, let's see. Where shall I put this? I don't know. It doesn't really go with anything. I'll just stick it in there. And then sometimes I, I get too picky and I'm like, Mary, just stick it somewhere. <laughs> just stick it somewhere, anywhere. It doesn't matter. But see, to me, it kind of does because if I want to find it, I have to have a, a logical place where I'll look for it, you know. That's really going to be for my Cinderella journal, which I probably won't find this if I look for it in here. But hey, like I said, I have to find a home for it. These I'm going to put in <clears throat> this little system which I really like. It's a little bit bulky, but it's okay because I just come in here and I take the one that I want and then I put the rest of it aside while I'm working on whatever project I'm working on. So this will go in my flowers. So I have birds, butterflies, flowers, insects, mushrooms, numbers, page tabs, Tim Holtz people, and turtles and then room to grow. 
for whatever that's going to end up being. And that will just determine, like at some point, if I have a bunch of one particular thing, it'll get categorized. <clears throat> I probably should do cameras because I have, that's what I should do. I have to start with all of these and then I already put away a whole bunch. That's okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another thing here. Good idea. You can see why I never get anything really accomplished. I um, spend so much time getting sidetracked on things. So I'll put the cameras in here. I have other cameras and then I'll, I'll label it. So I'm going to just set that aside for now to do that. Um, and then these frames need to go with the frames. These need to go over there. Along with these go over there. And these go over there. And then this is Christmas. Okay. I'm going to take you out of the holder and hope I don't like turn you off because I have all these segments of this video. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put them all together. So hopefully it, this video ends up actually coming out. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Okay. I had turned you off. I knew that was going to happen, but I got you back on again. All right. So these, excuse the, the mess. <laughs> I know it's bad it is so bad but I know where things are you know and when it gets to the point where it's not functioning anymore then I do something about it okay so that's where those go those are all like um embellishments non stickers they're not stickers and then these are going to go in there also these I'll show you where they go. I won't put them in there right now because um cuz it's uh, I can't do it with one hand. So that will just go. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> All right. These are um the quotes and things. So I have this entire box right here, oh, which I can't open up right now with one hand. So I'm going to set them right there. And I'll put them away when I turn the camera off. I promise I will. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. Um, I don't know if I showed you this before, but this is a little wooden crate. It's got peaches, records, and tapes on the side. It was originally made for cassette tapes. I found it at an estate sale, and I just thought it was cool, so I bought it a long time ago. And I've had it and haven't done anything with it. So I put all these books of stickers. They're like planner stickers. I had a whole bunch of them. So they fit in there very nicely. Some of them I took out of this basket here, which freed up some space in this basket. So some of the things that were in that pink thing with the handle, I've put in this basket. So these are just various stickers and things. Then this holds my stickles and Nouveau drops. And that was down here on this shelf. So I moved it up here where it looks very nice, I think. And because I can see it, I might actually use them. That's a, a bonus. <laughs> Because I forget I have them because they were under here behind my rolling cart. I couldn't even see them. Now I see them. Then I took this little pink basket that I've had and I put little things that were in that pink thing with the handles. And also I had these other things like little squares of pictures and I don't. I don't know what you would call them. Some are stickers, some are not. These, Those were sitting in another container on my table over there. <laughs> um, so I moved them over here and I got rid of a container that was just cluttering up the, the table. So that's a good thing. 
So in doing this whole thing, I've created more storage space. Um, I did end up putting the, the pretty box of alphabet stamps in here because um, there's just no space for it there. And that way they're all together and they're in there. And I think I have a couple more in a drawer in the closet. When I ever get to that, I have room for those in here too. And my decorative scissors all fit in there very nicely. So down here where this was down here, I took that out and I put in this basket and a lot of the things that were in the pink thing with handles are in here now. A lot of them, um, I had another basket, I'll show you that, here, that has always contained journaling cards, like Project Life type cards and other, um, I don't know, just pieces of journaling things. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> I uh, this is This is scraps. These are all my neutral scraps, book pages, music paper. This is roller, what do you call it? Piano roll paper? Um, did you even see that? <laughs> Piano roll paper, book paper, just different. That's my scraps, some of my scraps. So this basket here has always contained these little tag booklets. I don't know if you remember these. They're old as the hills. These are all different kinds of like journaling card things. So I've added all of these Project Life journal card things into this basket. That's where they, that's where they live. And my scraps just sit right on there. So that when I'm sitting in my chair doing something and I need neutral scraps, they're within arm's reach, which is lazy, I know, but they get used that way. Okay, so I still have this basket down here that I don't like that. I think I'm, I need to do something else with that and I'm not sure what yet. But for now, it's that's the way it is. So, and I need to put ribbon on here which is going to be another whole project because my ribbon is in the other room and I have to sort through it to figure out what and how I'm going to put it on there but I will get to that so this is my project my finished almost finished project <laughs> and my tabletop work area is clear so I I hope that you found this Mildly entertaining. <laughs> Maybe you got a couple of organizational ideas. I don't know. Maybe not. Um, but that's just to show you where some of my stuff goes. Um, I know people wonder sometimes where all my haul stuff goes. Well, that's one of the places. And while I have you on camera, I'm also going to show you this. See that green bag? That's my haul bag. And that's all stuff that I have um, accumulated and ready to do a haul video along with this bag, um, which I think I'm probably going to record next. You might see this before or after that video. I'm not sure. But anyway, okay, I'm just going to say goodbye now, and um, I hope that you have somewhat enjoyed this video and thank you for watching we will see you later don't forget to subscribe and like and leave me a comment let me know what you think about all this thanks bye